Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Displaying performance of Request to join UCA. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. Proceed into the facility with a good work. New 
new order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. You know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the seam an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart went heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time, and search for them, day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me 
the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man? It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. Hmm. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally, the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor, a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the seam. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one.
No luck. Visit 218,550. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21-minute cycle, but for a first-time face-to-face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go-around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21-minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one, and intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21-minute window. All from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. 
I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain <laughs> lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Armely proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes <laughs> to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. Don't worry about him, Sam. The air mantle absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station. The first step is to put a shelter with our... Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status. Well, that's... But we... You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. A 
geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into... He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now, and has begun to suffer the effects of... No doubt the result of excessive exposure to Kyrell. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can... Nor will his help. So, we need you to bring him some Kyrellium scrubbing. Administering shock. The stratum the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving it's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinction in any event. Can you guess what it was? A fossil. If that is indeed what it is, then he has therefore sat. It is essential that you deliver those Kyrelium scrubbing agents as... One more thing. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing... Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful. Make sure you keep that container. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when... Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need... Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. the attack that created it changed his life forever not only did he lose his family he very nearly lost himself for 21 minutes he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest under normal circumstances he would have died therapeutic hypothermia saved his life but the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him perhaps due to the shock his doom's ability seemed to have increased and now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that VTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. 
Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with me before. <laughs> cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's ability seemed to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab? Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. <laughs>
Sam. So, Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's abilities seem to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab? Their designs are all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. <laughs>
Easy. Sam, so Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his Doom's abilities seem to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that VTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab? Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his Doom's abilities seemed to have increased. 
And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that VTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the ones in my mind. They're designed to all based on my friends' accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. <laughs>
was worried you might not get here in time. But then I... I've been haunted by those visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff? I put the nightmares down to fatigue. The uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even... Uh, it's just lucky we caught it before. Dying's not an option. My research... It's not just my life. You're safe. I guess you really are good at what you do. Thank you. Just like that, I'm part of the studying this fossil. Assuming I can prove honestly, though, I'm. Can you. Evidence of. Chiral matter has existed on Earth. This stra. Look at this. Sir. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the chiral. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional, producing layers of what is known as pseudotaculite. We call these layers. Extending the principle. Out. The presence of corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous, and not just then. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other... In expanding the chiral network, you furthered our... And ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost. But this is only the... See this through, Sam, and there's no... T Good work. New order available.
on his way here with something. It's a 200 million year old ant. He apparently stumbled it. That's not the half. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study. And so I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary, which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he... But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the... Didn't even have... The cargo was supposedly lost in the... Where toxic gases have a tendency... Old Mr. Reliable, but you, to protect you against, just to be, you can pick it up with While there are examples of viviparous fish, an am and if it is indeed 200, another one of the big fun, could the umbilical cord be, we must recover that cargo, it could provide a vi we're so close, so hurry Sam. We <laughs>
Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary... Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata... Which... Anyway, I... I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine. I never... Lately, she's taken an interest in... And I think she'd be eager to examine this... It... To clarify, accordingly, I would... And deliver them? It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself. By aiding her research, we, we've already made s with your continued... Good work. Order available. Please access delivery terminal for...
far without you.
People would may I have a look. Not a scratch on it. You do. for bringing me Mama's body as well. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical... Thank you. 